Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. In the past, I've done a couple different tutorials about extracting a dynamic list using array formulas. One was for the single criteria and another one was trying to incorporate the AND function, but you really can't do that, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, so when you have multiple criteria, so I recently received a question about how can I do it we using like the or function, whether you have two criteria and it meets this or it meets another one. And that makes it a little bit interesting, but let's see how we can accomplish that in Excel. So the first tutorial I did in this concept was just with a single criteria. And I'm not going to go through this in detail. I'm going to put the links below to this original tutorial so you can see exactly how the process was accomplished. But just in general, what I did was uh, here I wanted to generate this list of any of the guests who are attending. So who had a Y in column B. And here's the formula. I wrapped it in an if error function. So the ones that resulted in an error would return a blank. But it's basically an index function, and the array is the list of names, column A. And the row number incorporates a small if and two row functions. But basically, to create the list, we use the if function to say, does the list in column B from B2 to B26 equal K1, which in this case is a Y. And if that's the case, return that row number. And then the small function would use that as the array, and then using row 1, 1 would give me the first smallest. As I went down, row 2, 2 would give me the second smallest, third smallest, fourth smallest, etc. And those would identify the row numbers for the index function array, which is the list of names in column A. And then I created basically the same scenario here where instead of saying, does column B equal Y, in this case, does column C, which is where the donations are, is that greater than or equal to L1, which I had as $25. So it generated a list of names where the donations were $25 or more. So that's the general concept of how this structure worked. Then I received the request, well, what about if you want to have multiple criteria? You want to combine both of these into a single list where they are attending and they gave a donation greater than X. That's where I did the second tutorial, which again, I'll put the link to that below. And to do multiple criteria, you cannot use the AND function in an array formula in Excel uh, because the AND function will just return one single answer. Either they're all true or they're not all true. And therefore that single answer will be the same for all of them. So you can't use the AND function. So what you need to do is you need to take all your criteria and multiply them times each other. So you can see when I just use a single criteria, I had logical test to be did column C, was it greater than or equal to the amount I had in L1? And that gave a list of which were correct and which were not. In the multiple criteria scenario, basically you list all your criteria here. In this case, does B equal H1, which is a Y, and does C, is it greater than or equal to I1, which in this case is $25, and you multiply them times each other. Now the reason that works is what Excel will do is in the first scenario, does um, B2 to B26 equal Y, it'll generate as a list of ones and zeros. One if it's a true, zero if it's a false. And then in the second logical test, it will again create a list of ones and zeros ones if that's true and zeros if that's false, and then they'll multiply those times each other. So if it's a one times a one, that will return a one where they're both true, and that will generate a row number. But if it's a zero times a one or a one times a zero, that'll result in a zero, which is false, and that will not generate a row number for the 
a small function to present the array for that function. So that's how it works when you have multiple criteria. But what happens if you want to have the OR function where it meets this criteria or that criteria? Well, instead of using a multiplication sign, we'll go over to our third tab and you can see what we did was we used a plus sign. So we have the two different criteria and then we just add those together. So again, the first logical test will create a list of ones and zeros. The second logical test will create another list of ones and zeros. And if it's a one plus a one, you're still gonna have a positive result. But if it's a one plus a zero or a zero plus a one, you will have still a one and that will give you a true, which is again is a positive result. Or if you have a zero plus a zero, which means both scenarios are false, you'll have a zero and it won't generate a row number. So basically it's that simple when you want to do a scenario in an array formula where you have two criteria and you want it to be this criteria or that criteria. You just list your multiple criteria and you use the plus sign and Excel will then present a list of all the items that meet one or the other. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day and happy Excelling.